Hey, welcome back. It's the Mariah Report, bi-coastal edition this week. Hey, Dan, how's it Hello, going? Hello, Martin, over there in the New York City. We're covering the whole country this time. Yes, yes. And we will be for the next few weeks, but that's all right, because, you know, Mariah keeps working, so so do we, you know? Yes, how yes. How goes? That's how it goes. I know. I know. So if you're wondering why the audio is a little bit different, it's because, you know, I'm on the road. <laughs> out in the field. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we can work with it. We can work with it. It's perfectly fine. Um, but anyways, here we are another week at the Mariah Masterclass uh, Report. Month. <laughs> Month. <laughs> Month. Yeah, and don't forget, we still have our giveaway going on. So you stay tuned because you have a chance to win a whole year of Masterclass on us. Yes. All you have to do is listen for this week's code word, which will be coming up later on in the show. Um, and then just click the link and then fill it out, your email and whatever. And boom, yeah. you're entered. You entered the link is in the description and congratulations to our winner last week, Keith Michaels. He won and now he has a whole year of masterclass. Exactly. Yes. The masterclass is where it's at this week uh, for masterclass. We're going to be talking about um, taking care of your voice mm -hmm. and instruments and emotions. We like those things. Yes. We love those things. We love <laughs> those things. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but how's New York treating you? Uh, <laughs> well, let me tell you how I got here. There's a Mariah moment okay, <laughs> before, before I even left the house. There's a Mariah moment. So I had an early flight leaving LA to come to New York. The flight was at 7 a.m. So I wanted to wake up about 4 a.m. just to get ready and, you know, get on the road to the airport because in LA, there's always a lot of traffic. So I wanted to turn on the KTLA, the news, to uh -huh. see what the traffic's doing. Uh, and they're giving you the reports. They're doing... Um, you know, giving the updates of the weather and the traffic. Then coming up after the break, they're selling these like Star Wars candles coming up. On the radio? On the TV. Oh, on the TV, on the KTLA TV. On okay, the KTLA. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, what's that noise in the background? They're playing We Belong Together, Desert Storm remix as the promo music for these candles. Oh, really? At four in the morning on the TV. <laughs> That is so interesting. The Isn't that funny? Storm remix. Yes. <laughs> I would have never. I love that remix though. I haven't heard it in years. I was like, oh, that's, a, that's an unusual I, choice. I know that one. <laughs> anyway, I so that was my- you, Well, they love Mariah out here. You will catch four, her playing anywhere. Four in the morning, there she was. Always. She's always, always. around, always around doing things. I know, and anyway, so that's, how my trip, that's how my trip started. And you made it there safely, so that's good. Smooth and safe. Uh, flight was full again. Most people wearing masks, which was good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got to New York, it was like gray and cold. <laughs> yeah, it's still, what is it over there? Winter still? I don't well, know. I've lost the fall? sense of what the, <laughs> what the seasons are. I know. No, it's fall. And everyone's talking about how warm it is. I'm like, this is actually really cold, people. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? Yes. Uh -huh. Like 60 degrees or something? It was 60, then went down to like 40. Okay, okay. But, you know, compared to like Arctic weather they have during the winter, it's it's warm. It's warm, yeah. See, 60 degrees here in Los Angeles, that's cold. Mm -hmm. People are dying. Dying. They're dying. Yeah. From the cold. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's been gray and cold out here. Well, sounds about right. Sounds about Everything right. is closed down. This is like a doom and gloom situation. My favorite Rite Aid, my the place I go get, um, you know, Drug Not stores, over there things. on the Broadway. Closed down. Forever. Gutted. Empty. <gasps> no. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So many things have closed down. It's wild. Oh, wow. Right there on the Upper West Side in the yeah. old neighborhood. Yes. Oh, interesting. I know. I know. Um, anyway, so New York is still here. Ain't going nowhere for a minute, but mm -hmm. all right. Well, LA is still here as well. And it's um, it's sunny out. It's doing its thing. You know, the typical. Usual. The usual. I miss it. I miss it already. It's been two days. <laughs> oh, my goodness, girl. And we got how many more weeks over there? I know. Well, by I the know. time, you know, in the next few weeks, it'll get like nice and sunny and warm, I'm sure. Yeah. Because right? it's, it almost, it's almost May. Yeah. In two yeah, days. So that's about right. Three that's days. About right. Mm -hmm. All anyway. right. Well. Here we are, and we're going to be doing the Mariah news from coast to coast. We've got some tidbits. Actually, we do have some very interesting Mariah moments this week. Um, outside we do. Of the masterclass. So 
Well, okay, I know we always talk about how LA loves Mariah, but New York is giving her some love as well lately. Okay, so she's, good. She's doing the Songwriter Hall of Fame here, remember? That's where the presentation oh goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be um, the earth, top of June or something, right? Soon, May, June. It's around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have that to look forward to. Love that. But there's a New York um, Festival's TV and Film Award out here, and mm -hmm. Mariah's Christmas special won. Yes, yes. Congrats, congrats. I know, I know. Um, it Finally, for, she won something. It, I know, right? This yes. is very well deserving of many awards, but um, I guess she won for a favorite variety uh, yes. special, right? That's it. Which she should have won an Emmy for, but whatever. We're not going to talk about that. Mm -mm. But at least she's getting recognition um, over here in New York City for at the film festival or the TV film festival. We love Exactly, that. I know. Although, like, I wonder... Like, cause that's like oh, a, a, over a year old. What's what's the like deadlines or like? It deserves it. It deserved. <laughs> whoever deserves it from whenever it doesn't matter. But I don't know. Maybe they'll it, maybe they'll slim picking. So they're like, oh, what happened last year? <laughs> honey, you know, maybe they bent the rules a little bit because of COVID. They're like, well, you can you can enter in 2022. Maybe, yeah. Why not? Hey, I'm down for it. Listen, we'll take it. We're not complaining. Absolutely. Don't Absolutely. ask questions. And, We're but, taking it. <laughs> We didn't even know that this was like gonna be happening. We just no idea. heard about it afterwards. So um, yeah, so it's a fun little surprise. Yes, yes. Well, um, yeah, congrats to that. So <laughs> stuff's happening out here for Mariah. Stuff is happening out here. Now, speaking of fun little surprises, now that we have like video and things, even though like we're separated, I, uh, you know, a few weeks back or months back, let's say months, <laughs> <laughs> Mariah started selling fantasy merchandise on oh, yeah. MariahCarryShop.com. Yes. And I just got my package today. Oh, no way. What did you In order? A two t-shirts. But here's the thing. I don't know. I haven't opened the package yet because I was thinking we could do it right here on the video. I oh, mean, if we've why got not? the time, why not, right? But I don't know if there's going to be two shirts in there because one of them, they said it's limited edition and it's like going to be like taking longer time. So there might only be one package in there. But I say, let's let's open the package and see what's in there. Let's do it. That's right. Yes. <laughs> might as well. Fantasy is a hot topic right now. So we need exactly. to have the merch. I mean, let's give them the fantasy update. It's over there. It's in the top 200 of the iTunes. Is and it really? Yes, yes. I've seen it on the, on you know, the, the lambs out there. The chart lambs are always yeah. updating. Um, and then it's also over there. I think it's now in the top 10 on the R&B digital sales. Wow. Really good. It's a very small package, but you could that fit looks, two shirts in here. That looks like a double. Oh, definitely. A, a, oh, yes. Two shirts. Okay, so we know this one. The McDonald's one. The McDonald's one. I had to get it because, you know, I didn't go out there at 5 a.m. to get it before. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Very cute. Uh, by the way, if you're listening to the podcast, head over to our YouTube page and subscribe over there. Help us get some, um, help us get to a thousand subscription. What do you call them? Yeah, subscribers. Subscribers. Subs yeah, girl, the subscribers. We're uh, almost there. So please head over and help us out. Yeah, and then you can like see our beautiful faces and the lovely Mariah t-shirt. This is cute. I mean, we already knew it was cute. It's great. That's cute. That's a good shirt. It's a good shirt. I'm jealous that you got it in your size. I know it's a medium. Yeah, I had to get the large. Um, I probably can't fit into this though. <laughs> so, but... <laughs> maybe we'll switch a roof to the large. <laughs> yes, maybe I have to try it on. I have to do a fitting, a fitting. But here, okay. So here's the good. We are. I just threw that, tossed that one because we know what that one looks like. <laughs> this is the fantasy one. Let me see. Okay. That one. That's the wild card, the fantasy this one. This is the wild card on first look. Okay, this is also a medium, but it looks very small. Hold this up for the people to see. That's cute. That's good. You know what? It looks better on that screen. Maybe my lighting in here is really off, but it looks very dim. You think? No, it looks good on this. Yeah, but I have lights here, but when I turn it this way, it's very like, it's not very bright. But that's how, the, that's how it was on the website too. It's like a darker print. It's supposed to look faded and raggedy. All right. Well, I'm down. <laughs> faded and raggedy. <laughs> That's the vibe. Yeah, the it's like a vintage. It's, it's sort of vintage. Now, the shirt itself is supposed to be a little vintage-y. You can't really see, but it like it's not really vintage-y. Oh, give it like, a few washes. You know what I mean? But that's cute. This is cute. Throw it in the wash. That will get all raggedy. Yeah. 
it says Mariah on the on the sleeve. All right. That's cute. Okay, cute, cute. All right, listen, listen. I'm down. What was that? 30 bucks? Um, like I think 40. 39? 40? That's reasonable. 35. 35. 30. Reasonable. Absolutely reasonable. Reasonable. I needed reasonable. a fantasy shirt. Yeah. Well, congrats we on it. your merch <laughs> arriving. <laughs> Sometimes you never know when that stuff is arriving. It tells you sometime in May. Like, it tells you sometime next year. Yeah. Girl, and like I said, that fantasy one was limited edition. So they're like, girl, we can't tell you anything about it. You'll get it when you get it. Yeah. And I'm well, thank goodness I got it. <laughs> uh, um, but anyways, that's cute. That's super cute. And then yeah, um, yeah. we have new... Uh, pride merch coming up soon as well so we have to be on the lookout for that i mean we mm-hmm. won't get it for pride but that's fine sometime this year we'll get it when we get it <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't last year's pride on time i think some of it was on time yes i think some of it made it on time but in order okay because here's the other thing what i just realized is in los angeles pride is the beginning of june and oh. you know in where i come from it's at the end of June. So Chicago? like if Chicago or even, even in New York, it's mm-hmm. always like the last Sunday of June. Mm. Here it's like the first Sunday. Well, it's staggered out throughout the country. Well, that's the timing. Interesting. I think it should all be at once. <laughs> like, <laughs> like one big day. Know, yeah, like all the all, all throughout the all the cities. Why oh, is it I think different? It's- I think it's staggered because one, they're waiting for the Mariah merch. Two, um, people like to travel and do different ones. Oh, oh, I never thought of that. But I'm you like, know. well, you know, it's like Christmas. You don't get different Christmases. It's all <laughs> on one day. <laughs> um, we'll talk to the, the um, planning committee about that. We'll talk to the head gay in charge. <laughs> yes. Maybe <laughs> Mariah knows him. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mariah can fix maybe. Maybe she can hook us up with this, a little uh, chit chat. This feels like her lane, and it's an event, a festive day. That yes. She needs to wrangle. Absolutely. Well, we'll see what's ha- we'll, we'll see what's happening. I guess apparently, but now uh, you could do Pride all month of June. I guess that's what yeah. it is now. Yeah. So I guess it. All right. Fine. Whatever. But you're not going to have your Mariah Pride merch. month. So yeah. <laughs> get your fantasy merch for it. Yeah. Exactly. You could wear that. That's cute. Mm-hmm. That's super cute. We love that. Do you um, know what that McDonald's shirt too? Why not make it pride? Oh yeah. Oh, it's gay enough. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's Mariah. Mm. Now I'm thinking that. <laughs> um, okay. Well, speaking of merch, we did get our first look at the number one's vinyl. <sighs> yes. It was just record store day. Across yes, it was. the nation, oh, actually across the world, I think, because I think a lot of European cities were doing it as well, right? Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if the global stores got the ones. I'm not oh. sure. I think some international lambs got got um, their hands on it, but I think it was. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Tell us in the comments if you're international out of the US and you got number ones at Record yeah. Store Day. Because I, uh, I did not get my hands on one of these reissued vinyls. But Same. you never know. Maybe down the road, I'll find one online or something. Because it looked good. The way it was laid out inside. Oh, it's good yes, photos. gorgeous. Very, very mm-hmm. well done. It looked really good. Um, was a good one. I looked in a couple record stores over here in Los Angeles, and they did not have it. So I, But I went like the day after, which I don't think counts. But <laughs> I think it's limited edition. <laughs> there was nothing there, but it's all right. Um, well, this is this is interesting because I had never really heard of Record Store Day until this um, announcement that number one. Right. Was I mean, there's so many things that happen and that we, unless it's related to Mariah, we really don't pay attention. Right. But so, it's kind of yeah, it's cool that Mariah is on board with it because listen, it's all about like record stores and like independent record stores. Mm-hmm. Um, so Record Store Day was conceived in 2007. Uh, at a gathering of independent record store owners and employees as a way to celebrate and spread the word about the unique culture uh, of nearly 1,400 independently owned record stores in the U.S. and thousands of similar stores internationally. And the first record store day was on April 19th, 2008. Oh. Yeah. 
I'll see so, that. I mean, so it's been going on for whatever, uh, many years. Many years, but here's Mariah helping out the independent businesses too. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We love that, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and back in the day, 2008, nobody was buying vinyls. Like vinyls did not come into like thing until like- I just heard a whole bunch of people screaming like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> I had vinyls. I mean, so did I. But and Mariah not, vinyls. Yeah, of course. Uh, we've always been buying them. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like the general public, I feel like there was there was not really a demand for for vinyls. And then, like maybe in the past, maybe like maybe five years, there mm-hmm. was more of like an uptick in sales. So like they started producing more and making limited. Yeah. Um, additions and things like that you know like way back in the day we did like ads for vinyl me please here on the podcast oh yes like, that's when it sort of started to come back into you know I guess fashion if you will yeah I agree with you actually because um I feel like when the CD started to die out and digital took over then vinyl kind of like came back up around because people mm-hmm. wanted something physical to uh, play music on and, yeah. it did, and it does sound better as a vinyl so yeah. enthusiasts were, you know, buying up vinyl again. But do you know what? So actually on Record Store Day, I went to the Barnes & Noble at the Grove uh, uh-huh. there in LA. Because I thought maybe, I wonder if they have it. Because I wanted to just check. That's the closest vinyl seller around uh, where I am. So I went in to check it out. And I have to say, the CD and vinyl department now has totally changed. Because I want to say about a year ago, it was like slim pickings in there. It wasn't full. It was just kind of like old stuff. But now it's totally rejuvenated. It's full of of new vinyls. It's full of CDs, and who's like really um, spearheading the movement? I think first of all, I think this '90s craze that everyone's into right now. I think that's re- reviving all these. Definitely um, helping, sure. Like people want CDs and vinyl again, but um, the K-pop they're killing it with the in terms of like the packaging. Oh, really? Because now when you get an album, you're getting like, a, it's inside like a graphic novel that's like a box set that's like wrapped in something. Like it's a whole contraption now to get your album. I was like, really? wow. I was like, this is super cool stuff. Oh, well, they know how to do it. But that's what the kids are into now, the K-pop. And so I think that's reviving the record stores and um, purchasing physical music. Physical things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so cool. And I saw Caution when I was in there. Oh my goodness, I need a caution. I, I need a caution too. And do you know what was good about it? You get the, see, I haven't seen the print up close on a vinyl printed in real mm. life. The cover and also the neon M on the back. That was a really good picture on a vinyl. Yeah, because that's good. Because you know, it's all about, it's not about the vinyl itself. It's about the picture. The picture is <laughs> the picture yeah. doing. How is that looking? And things like that. But now speaking of the pictures on the vinyls, especially with these re-releases, I was seeing that a couple of lambs were saying that they're printed a little darker than normal. Like, you know, when Vinyl Me Please did the anniversary edition of Daydream and mm. even this new number ones, they're saying it printed a little bit darker than the original. And I wonder why that is. And when you see the picture side by side, you can totally see that like the shadowing in these new re-releases is a little darker than the original. It's interesting. 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 Even, like if I pulled out my little daydream here, like the, the cheeks on Mariah, everything around the face, the shadows are very, very deep. Interesting. And it's not like that on the, like, you know, like on this one here. The I only mean, thing I can think notice, of, I mean, yeah, the only thing I can think of is maybe they're factoring, factoring in fading, fade factor over I, time. Yeah, I mean, maybe because they want to give it like that vintage, like the t-shirt we just saw. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, maybe that could be a thing or maybe just they don't have, it's just a different printing process or it's, um, they don't have like the original film that these photos were taken on. So like Mm -hmm. once you start transferring things to digital and then like the quality is reduced and stuff like that, there could be a million factors. Not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's, different and us lambs know the originals know how to nitpick and nitpick as well (laughs) exactly listen take what you can get okay sign me up i want one yeah but i I can't get out in the streets because a lot of lambs were waiting in line at their local record stores for hours yeah get these things i know and i'm like girl dedication Mm -hmm. i don't know if i can do that 
<laughs> no, I eventually I will eventually find one somewhere. It will turn up. Yeah, it'll it'll come around. It'll come around. The moment for it will come. Just like uh, you know, now I want a caution vinyl. But when they came out, I didn't really need one. But now I need one. You know. I know. I know. I know. So it is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all right. Final um, merch, all the things. All the things, all the things. One more quick thing um, in the Mariah News world before we get into Masterclass. Um, they just announced that Mariah is going to be part of this new Audible series. And mm -hmm. it sounds like it's something that's very similar to Masterclass. Mm. Um, it, it's called, um, what is it called? It's called Words and Music. And there's going to be um, multiple different musicians and artists taking part in this. And it launches on Audible, I think, May 6th, so like next week or something. And Mariah's date will be, you know, announced very shortly. But they basically dive into, you know, their craft and their work and their music and how they make it and all that kind of good stuff. So that is going to be another fascinating Mariah moment to look forward to in the coming months. I can't wait to hear it. See what she says this time about what song exactly make you i really think this is just basically like the podcast version of master class is what it's going to be um but now i have to restart my audible membership and all that kind of stuff <laughs> i know that's how they get you but it will be i'm sure it will be good i'm really sure uh it'll be amazing because again we don't get to see mariah doing what she does as much as we want i know we need more of that content more 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 always Okay, well, speaking of more, 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 so let's talk about Masterclass. So you know how, uh, I think you mentioned it and other people have mentioned that they noticed on other Masterclass classes on Masterclass that um, some people have like 20 lessons or 15 lessons or mm -hmm. more, you know, a higher number than Mariah had. Because um, what did Mariah have? She has like nine? I think she has... Uh seven or eight actually but like the background vocals is like a two-parter uh-huh when she's sitting with brandy and whatnot like that's that's just one episode so um one, one class <laughs> well two so people were theorizing that maybe we're going to get more lessons coming up but you know we have the email now to the master class people oh so, so i sent them a quick email and i was like hey are we expecting more and they said unfortunately not this is it this is it no they're not getting this it <laughs> This is what you're getting. That's no more. <laughs> yeah. That's interest. That's an interesting concept, though, to think like you could like you know have multiple class like extended classes or like mm -hmm. extra classes that like an artist would add on or you know whatever a poet or whoever. That would why be not? Thing. Yeah, why not? Keep it going. Keep the content flowing over there. Uh, you know. So I think that's a great idea, but of course, no, not with Mariah. See, if I was master class, I would have had a plan a part to to it all so after the first round of people cancel their membership you get them again exactly that's how you yeah. get them that's, that's how, how you, you get them, them. That's, that's how you I get done. them and you drop it like exactly one year later so your membership just ended and you're yes like, oh y'all mfers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no we're not getting any more lessons yet no, that's Maybe. all right you never but that's why Mariah's doing these other little things you know what I mean so like this new audible thing music and words or whatever that's going to be sort of like the other part of it mm -hmm. so you know we're going to get a lot of content from Mariah coming up mm -hmm. and that's what I'm here for that's what I'm here for mm -hmm. all right so let's get into this week's master class um, we are going to be discussing the two lessons music and emotions or instruments mm -hmm. and emotions and um, taking care of the voice gonna take yeah. care of it honey yes absolutely um because she doesn't really talk about her voice much and when she does it's very little so she went a little bit more in depth here i feel um, like the last time she spoke about her voice in depth was on quest love's podcast oh yes oh that was a good she, one. when she talked about like sipping cayenne tea or whatever putting mm -hmm. cayenne in the hot tea yes drinking uh -huh. milk Yes. Well, on this particular one over here, she was talking about, you know, she was like, uh, they, she was talking about what she does to sort of like help maintain her voice. And she was like, oh, what I always practice is um, vocal rest, basically, is what she said. She's like, no talking, no nothing, just sleep. And um, that's like silence, silence, silence. Uh huh. Um, but then also, I well, also she uses um, Siri to talk for her. 
Oh, right. Yes. And I'm like, look at Mariah, all technical and things. I all know. Technical. I never thought Siri would come in handy like that. No, I don't even know how to make Siri talk for me. So she's I, ahead of the game. I bet that I know. helped her. Yeah. <laughs> because remember back in the day, like, um, like specifically the Mimi era when um, she was on vocal rest and she was, had to do all this press and stuff. And she had like little post-it notes where she would like write her little like flashcards and yep. she like have things pre-written on them. And she would just like hold up the flashcard, like, you know, this or whatever. When she wanted uh -huh. to hear someone out, she's like, you MFers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now she has Siri, so she could do it. <laughs> so I love in this lesson how she talks about how Luther gave her advice on how to look after her voice. Mm -hmm. And we've known this for a little while now because you've seen photos of her on the butterfly tour with the cool Miss Humidifier. Also on the butterfly tour, I think behind the scenes says that's- I think uh -oh. you said the code word. <laughs> Did I trigger it? <laughs> you triggered the code word, there it is. We are going to use humidifier for this week's code word to enter into win an annual membership to masterclass. Yes. So click the link, put in humidifier. All that That's the code word. <laughs> Just your name and your email, and you can win a whole year of Masterclass. Exactly. You can see all of Mariah's and everyone else who was there. They got a ton of great people there you can uh, watch, including Mariah. So, yes. Oh, so, humidifier, humidifier. That's the word. Humidifier. The word. <laughs> also, we don't have the, our script in front of us, but Masterclass did not sponsor this sweepstake. And uh, all the rules and regulations apply. No cash. You can't sell it. None don't of that. Don't refund it. <laughs> no nonsense. Don't try nothing. Just watch your shows. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yes, humidifiers are key to Mariah keeping her voice um, in good working condition. I know. And actually, when she was talking and she was saying about how she has to have it all set up around her house in all the rooms, and then she asked people to help her turn them on. I was like, that's the job I want. I want to be in charge of turning on the humidifiers. Yeah, but don't you have to like fill them with water too and stuff? It's a job and clean them. Yeah, there's a whole kind of, that's a lot of things going on over there. I'd be satisfied with that job. I mean, yeah, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to yes. do it, but you know, <laughs> but also how about um, in Cribs, you know, in her New York house, she has that room that she sometimes would sleep in and it's all behind glass. So like, it's just a humidifying room. Uh huh. Like, isn't that something? I want to know more about that because she talked about that 20 years ago. I wonder if she still utilizes that room in the same way, you know? I know. My only concern is that with all that humidity, the mold will grow <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I think everything is like behind the glass and stuff or like plexiglass, I think. I guess, like all yeah. the walls and everything. I don't I know. Guess. That's why I'm, I want more information on that. Because like yeah. when, because we, she it wasn't in the actual Cribs episode, it was in like the bonus edition Cribs episode. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think the room was like, you know, fully set for like, you know, television. Right. Because it, it was new. She had just sort of moved in there. But um, keeping the voice humid or moist, what, how, yeah, all of that. The well, threat. I think, yeah, I think moving to Atlanta is good for it too, because it's humid and balmy down there all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Well, she talks here in the masterclass about not being in dry environments when recording. So, yeah, humid down there in the South for sure, definitely. And we know that. She loves recording in Capri as well, which also has good, you know, humid air. We love that. I, guess I have to go check that out. Yes, one of these days, one of these days. Um, okay, so she talked a lot about the voice, but she also talked about having the vocal nodules. And I know. not having them removed. She addressed it. And she said that like many people have told her, don't remove them. Mm -hmm. And I just, I mean, I don't know anything about voice or vocals or what, you know, anything, but essentially nodules are like almost like a callus on the vocal cord, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. And but she says- To do any kind of, if you'd want to do any kind of surgery, it's super risky. Um, think of Julie Andrews who lost her voice because she had, had surgery on her voice, on her true. vocal cords. And but then also recently Adele had vocal nodules removed and she says her voice is better than ever. I mean, no shade, shade to her, but like her voice was never that amazing. It looks good, but it's not like she's like <laughs> singing all over the place. Yeah. Um, well, also um, Bjork had vocal nodules too. 
had them removed and had a good result. But she, I don't know if I dealt with this, but they use lasers to get rid of them now. Oh, really? Not, not a knife. Oh, so maybe it's better. Is that better? I don't know. It's too risky with Mariah's voice. Yeah, it is too risky because here's the thing. She said that, you know, um, I think her vocal doctor or coach or whoever, you know, says the reason she's able to hit those high, high notes is because of the vocal nodules that she has. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, it's a risky thing to have them removed, but also like if her voice changes dramatically and she's no longer able to do those notes, I mean, that's- We're all toast, we're all done. Yeah, we're We're done, done. we're done for. Everyone. Yeah. It's not worth the risk. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It, I think at this point, it's not worth the risk. I mean, her voice is still beautiful and she can hit those notes still. Yes. You know, as long as it's humid and she's rested, rested and all of the things. So, yes. I mean, why why mess with it? I think it's, it's easier this way. Exactly. It's not nope. broken. Exactly. It's not definitely not broken because in the one episode where she's talking about like the instruments and matching the instruments to the emotion of the song, mm-hmm. she's there with the with the string players and she's hitting all those notes up there and she's mm-hmm. hitting all the notes, all highs and everything. And I was like, oh, my God, she still she has it. She got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we love that. We love that. Don't change it. No, mm-hmm. really fun to see the insight, just watching her speak about it. Definitely, definitely. Um, what else did she say? Have to say about the voice, the vocal nodules. Um, what she was talking about how when she was younger, she would always like sort of talk in that high high range, mm-hmm. and she. I guess she was calling it the whisper. There's a difference between like a whisper note, and like a high note. And they're like, and how she does it, because she thinks that like the, the whisper part is better than the high notes Mm -hmm. because they're two different things, two different sections of your vocal cords and whatnot. And I was like, girl, that's she, this is the thing. Adele cannot go there, there, and there. Mariah can go there, there, and there. She has all the vocal cords. She got it all from over here to over here. The range, they call it the range, (laughs) the vocal range. (laughs) Which Adele does not have the full range. No, but she has a beautiful voice, of course. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, um, so, you know, Mariah's got it. Mariah has it. Adele's yeah. good at emoting with her voice. Yes, absolutely. The one emotion. <laughs> <laughs> the heartbroken emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. <laughs> um, but speaking of emotion, this is also where Mariah gets in um, to matching the instruments with the emotions in the one lesson. Mm-hmm. And this is where she's like instructing the violinist to like hit these particular notes and go from this note to that note and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And it is so funny to watch that because, and I think we've said this before, girl, it sounds the same to me. Like, I don't hear any, di- I don't hear what Mariah's hearing because uh-huh. my ear is just not that good. But I'm like, girl, you just did the same thing 20 million times. And she yeah. matched it. It sounds perfect to me. <laughs> I think it's an ear training thing because, you know, the different notes, the sound vibrating at different frequencies. And so they're hearing the frequency variations yes, that we're not and, hearing. And I do not have those frequency hearing variations that's Mm -hmm. happening here not (laughs) happening here i will say though um you know we've been i've been listening to the new version of the roof with brandy and Uh i finally put it in my headphones and listened closely because normally i'll just listen to it on my computer or i'll like stream it to my my radio stereo whatever you call it and it sounds great but when you put it in your ears and it's like right there you hear so much more of brandy And you really get that other layer of Brandy in there because before, you know, when you listen to it regular, she was just sort of blended in and Uh it was great. But now I'm like, I can really hear her so much better. Ah, no, actually I did play it uh, on my sound bar. So I had it like loud with the good bass and everything. And I I heard the other layers better too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got to listen to it with good, with good, um, technologies you do you do because <laughs> that that's when you really hear it all come out and things of that nature so we love it we love it yeah 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 um <clears throat> but that, that's that's pretty much what mariah talked about this week and you know it was a great little lesson vo- vocal lesson if you will and then you gotta tune in to watch it again and again yes i'm telling you i've watched it each class probably like five times now they're all so good 
It's so good. It is so good. And just I hearing know. her. And there was even one moment in one of the episodes this week where um, she was just riffing in the vocal booth. She's like, oh, I'm just yes. doing this for fun. And she, I was like, girl, those are good vocals, girl. I know, I know, I know. So many good moments in there. So many, so many gems, so many gems. But um, but that's it. And listen, there's one more masterclass lesson that we're going to get into next week. So that we're going to wrap it up this week. And then next week will be the final one. And we will, of course, have another annual membership to Masterclass to give away next week. So the final one. Yes, absolutely. Masterclass month is over. Oh, it came and went so quickly. So it quickly. did. It did. <laughs> Next up, Christmas is next. Yes. Uh, honey, Christmas is always around the corner in Mariah's world. I know, I know. But um, remember, this week's uh, code is humidifier. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be announcing the winner to that on Monday. Yes, we will. So enter quickly. As soon as you hear this, click the link and put in your entry form so you can win. Also, please hit follow on your podcast app because it actually helps the show grow. It does make a big difference on our end. It lets the uh, podcast app algorithms know that people like this show and then it recommends it to other people. So that would be a big help if you could do that for us. Also head over to our YouTube page and hit subscribe because we're almost at a thousand subscribers. So if you can help push us over, that will help us out a lot too. Yes, over there on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yes, we love it. But um, thank you for tuning in. Um, and we will see you next week. And if you want more content, head over to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report and support this show for as little as $5 a month and get bonus content like the after show that we're about to go do right now. Yes, let's go. Bye. Bye.